In today's episode, Sherry asks, what is AI good at? What kinds of problems is it good at solving? Um, AI delivers three major benefits, uh, acceleration, accuracy, and alleviation. I call them the three A's. And acceleration is getting to the answer faster. Certainly machines can think and compute much, much faster than humans can. Uh, the second is accuracy. Any kind of, anytime you're dealing with mathematics and statistics and probability and stuff like that, you're going to get better answers from a machine a fair amount of time than you will from a human. Uh, we're seeing examples of this where uh, m machines using imaging are diagnosing cancer more accurately than, uh, than human doctors are. And of course, the third bucket is alleviation, offloading relatively low value tasks or lower value tasks to machines so that the humans are freed up to do more valuable work. Now, when we consider the kinds of problems that AI is good at solving and the kinds of problems that's not good at solving, um, uh, go, go, go back a, a, a real long way to uh, something from uh, it was tw 2009 or 2010. Uh, former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld was uh, criticized in a, in a press conference for saying that there are known knowns and known unknowns and unknown unknowns. Uh, it, it was a kind of a dodgy answer to a question at the time, so he, he, the criticism was valid. But the framework is actually not a bad one. So let's bring this up here. Um, Known knowns are problems to which we know we have the answers, we know how to get the answers, and what we're looking for is not the answer. We're looking for how to get the answer better or faster or, or have something else do it. Again, this is the sweet spot of AI, the three A's. Uh, known knowns are things that we know how to automate and we know how to offload and we know how to validate the, the answer is correct. So it's a great candidate, any kind of problem where we know what the answer is. We know how to get the answer. Uh, we have the code or the tools or the data to do so. Let AI do those kinds of problems. The second category of, of is that we, we, know, uh, we know the answer. We don't necessarily know how to get it. Uh, the known unknowns. Uh, this is analogous to if you have a GPS or, your, or a Maps app, right? You have a destination. You have a route to get there. Um, if you know where you're going, but you're not sure how to get there, a GPS is a helpful thing to have, right? Certainly a GPS and uh, that, that where you know how to get there and you know the, uh, and you know the destination, that's something that um, you may not even necessarily need AI for. But in this, in this example, uh, knowing where you're going but not knowing how to get there is the known unknown. And that means that you know the destination, you know the outcome, you know what you're looking for, but you're not sure about the code, you're not sure about the data and things like that. You're not sure about the ingredients to get to the outcome that you want. Um, but you still have a general idea of, of where it is that you're going, the destination that you're going to. Again, AI can be helpful here. Um, unsupervised learning and, and machine learning would be a good candidate here uh, for helping understand some of these questions. But you still have a lot of unknowns. You still have a lot of need for what's more data science than it is uh, machine learning and deep learning and so on and so forth. The third category in the upper left-hand corner is the uh, unknown knowns. So in that GPS example, this is you know sort of the the means but you don't necessarily have a destination set right so you 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 know the area you know the area really well um and you're not sure where you're going but wherever it is within that you know 25 mile radius of your house you know how to get there you know the road's like at the back of your hand so um you know your data you know you have great code but you don't have a business answer um that you're trying to get to. And again, this is where uh, some forms of, of machine learning, like uh, supervised learning, can be helpful. Um, but at the same time, um, you, know, you, you, you have a problem that AI is not necessarily going to be great at solving, right? If you setting the destination for the GPS is much more a, a human judgment call than it is a machine call a lot of the time. The machines can tell you. Uh, in this area around you, here are the 25 places that currently have no traffic um, getting to them. So that wherever you want to go, it's fast to get there, but you still have to make a choice. And so that's another area where, again, AI can't be handed off the entire thing, but it can help. Um, data, uh, but you will need a data scientist to and, and a business person to help you get to the answer that you want. What destination are we going to set? Uh, and then 
the machinery can help you figure out how to get there. Um, contrasting to the previous answer where uh, you know where you're going, you just didn't know how to get there. The last is the unknown unknowns, where we don't know what we don't know. We don't know what kind of data we have. We don't know what kind of uh, technology we have. We have no business goals and things. This is something that uh, AI isn't going to help you fix. Right, so if you uh, if you don't know where you're going and you don't know how to get there and you don't have any sense of the lay of the land, um, you know you get dropped off in a foreign city that you have no knowledge about. You don't speak the language. Um, AI is not going to help you there. Uh, <laughs> there you can use very tiny use cases like language translation, for example, to read the signs. But fundamentally, you don't know where you're going and you don't know what it looks like when you get there. And and this is something that AI can't help with this is a pure uh, business problem that where you've got to either pick one of those two you have to pick you know learning the lay of the land or you got to pick a destination and then try and figure out how to get there in order for you to start making progress so uh, maybe you're entering a new market uh, maybe you've got a, uh, a new audience you're trying to tackle and you haven't the foggiest idea what that's where you're going to need true uh, exploration true data science very little AI is going to help you there because you don't know what you don't know. So think about it from those perspectives of the four categories we're talking about. You know the destination and you know the route. You know the destination, but you don't know the route. You know the, all the routes, but not the destination. Or you don't know either the destination or the, or the lay of the land. Of those categories, AI is great at improving what you know um, and is terrible uh, right now at, at at trying to solve for things that you don't know. Um, so when you think about what kinds of problems you're solving for and you're think considering artificial intelligence as a solution, um, think about what you know. Think about the types of code or the data you would need to get to what you know. Um, and ultimately, you're going to need to retain and integrate your business users, your data scientists, your engineers, uh, and and your and and your, I guess the 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 overall strategists to put all the pieces together. No one person, at in, at least in larger enterprises, is going to be able to do everything. Right? Uh, you will have people who can you know dabble in each of the areas and help you you know make some progress, help you you know set intermediate destinations. But at the end of the day. The problems that AI can solve, the things that it can do, are supplementary to what we provide as humans. Our judgment, our experience, our cross-domain knowledge. Machines can't do that yet, and it's going to be a long time before they can. So, great question, Sherry. Complex question, and we're using kind of a silly framework here as a way to... Um, to help bring some clarity to it. As always, please subscribe to the newsletter and the YouTube channel. and talk to you soon. Take care. If you want help with your company's data and analytics, visit BrainTrustInsights.com today and let us know how we can help you.